We're here at the Laverne Group in Montreal, Canada, and this is where HP printer cartridges go to die, or maybe to be reborn would be a better way of looking at it. This is a closed-loop recycling system we have here, which is a pilot program that HP is uh, undertaking. Tell us about that and how it's going. I know you were part of the development process for that. Sure. So what we're doing today is we're getting cartridges back through HP's recycling programs in the various regions. Uh, the cartridges come back to recycling facilities uh, that are managed by HP, and uh, we shred the cartridges and extract the plastic from them. Um, there's, there's further refinement that's necessary, and so the material is sent onto a facility where we get the, the plastic output up to the quality that we'll be able to put it back into our cartridges. It's then sent on to the Laverne Group, which you visited today, where it's combined with uh, recycled bottle resin. And those two materials are compounded into a recycled PET uh, compound with greater than 75% recycled content, and new cartridges are made out of this material. That's interesting. And you're, one of the things you're looking at in this part of this pilot project is um, dismantling the cartridges as opposed to simply shredding them, which is the default procedure in the past. Yes. So one of the things that we're looking at in a, in a pilot investigation is the trade-offs between shredding and separating the cartridges and then having to go through the secondary refining stage versus the benefits of a disassembly approach. In a disassembly approach, we have more capital investment and effort on the front end but what we get as a benefit is that we get a much higher recovery rate on the plastics, and potentially the uh, other output materials are in better shape for uh, recycling efforts with, the, with them as well. The downside is that it's a slower process? The downside is that it's a slower process and that we potentially need more machines and, and more investment. Um, the, the benefit is that we would, would uh, de defray having to have secondary processing and we get higher recovery rates. We saw uh, cartridges being dismantled today. When is the material from those cartridges likely to reach the market so someone might walk into a store and buy a cartridge that has some of that material in it? So we're in the pilot investigation phase. We're disassembling cartridges today. They'll go through a shredding and, and rinsing process and uh, be turned into recycled pellets within the next three months. Um, and uh, I, I would say that uh, there's the potential that we would be manufacturing cartridges and putting them on the shelves within the next six months. Great. Thank you.